Hey class, I'm not here today, obviously, but uh, with the help of the sub and this lesson plan here, we're going to get through all the material we would have gotten through if I was here. So sub, all I ask of you is when I say pause, click pause, and then when people are done with what they're supposed to be doing, hit play. So here are the lesson plans for 2B and 4B on the 27th. I'm out today, guys, because I'm having surgery. All right, so here's your pre-class. What do you think caused Rome to weaken and then end? I'm going to ask that the sub click pause on this and get a bunch of people to share. Once you've gotten a bunch of answers, click play. All right, now that you've shared your pre-class, Obviously, what are we talking about today, guys? Uh, sub, please get one person to answer. We are going to have a post class today, but I'm going to create it, so there's no need to pull down the list. And we're not going to read the standards for the sake of time. All right, so here's our agenda. First thing you're going to do is do a jigsaw. We've done this several times this year. Each group is going to get a different different reading from the book. You're going to find the important facts and then we're going to bring it all together. So first thing we're going to have the sub do is make sure everyone knows their parts. All right, so here are your groupings. Table 8, you're going to read page 138 and 139 in the textbook. You're going to read the section A from Commodus to Severus Alexander. You're going to skip that really big section on leisure time. Don't read that. We've already talked about leisure time. You're going to read Increasing Tensions on the very bottom of page 138. And you're going to read The Severan Dynasty, those two paragraphs, on page 139. That's going to be Table 2. Table 5. You're going to read page 139, 140. You're going to read B, 50 Years of Trouble. The role of the army, and then on page 139, finish role of the army, and read economic decline. Tables 4 and 1, you're going to work together. You're going to read pages 140, 141. You're going to read C, Diocletian and Constantine, and you're going to read the whole Diocletian section. You're going to skip the Constantine the Great stuff on page 141. Tables 6 and 7 are going to work together. You're going to read page 142, the whole page, plus the two sentences on the top of page 143. Table 3, you're going to read page 143. There's three short paragraphs there and a chart on the right. Make sure you also get the notes from that chart. Table 8. You guys are going to split up. I want one of you to go to table 6. I want one of you to go to table 2. I want one of you to go to table 3. And I want one of you to go to table 5. I'll let you guys figure it out. Sub, if people from table 8 over there aren't really moving too very quickly, Feel free to assign them. If there's a pair in the room, he or she can also have some input on where they go. Uh, so here's what you're going to do, guys. Uh, sub, please hit pause. Sorry, please hit pause. As soon as everyone's in their groups and ready to go, hit resume so I can give directions. All right, so here's what you're going to do. You guys are going to do the reading however you want. You can split it up, take the different sections, different people. You can all work together. It's up to you. The sections are pretty short, with the exception of uh, one of the groups. Uh, table four and one together. Sorry, guys, you got the longest section. Uh, so you're going to take your section. You're going to find the important information. You're going to write it in your notes first. Once you feel like you have all the important notes from your section, once you're done, 
I want you to call the sub over and have him or her check it out. Make sure you're done. If there's a para in the room, you can also have the para check. When you have everything done, you're then going to go to Schoology. In Schoology, click on our class. We're doing Rome, so click on Rome. Click on Rome again. Near the top, there is a link called Fall of Rome Jigsaw. When you click on that, you're going to see that your jigsaw notes are already filled in. I want you to compare your notes to this. These are the notes that my honor students did when they did this activity. You guys have been getting really good about identifying important information and ignoring the stuff that's not important. So now I want to see how you compare to the honors level students. See if there's something that they put in that you missed. See if there's something you put in that they don't have on here. But don't check this until you're done with your section. When you guys are all done with that, I've got a worksheet that the sub should be handing out all about the Byzantine Empire. You can work in as big a group as you want on this. I would encourage you to help each other out, share your answers. The worksheet tells you exactly what page to find the answer and what paragraph to find it in. Your worksheet is going to look like this. The number on here, that's the page number. And then the title here, that's the paragraph where you'll find the important information to answer these questions. The sheet is two-sided, including a picture here. You can work with as many people as you want in this class. When you are all done with that worksheet, your homework for tonight is on Actively Learn. It's called Bullies of Rome. If you don't finish the worksheet in class, don't worry. I'm going to give you some class time next class to work on it. All right, so sub, please oversee everyone. If anyone has any questions, then uh, I trust that you'll be able to help them out.